Hi everyone, this is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations and today this is going to be the weekly reading for April 17th to the 23rd for the sign of Sagittarius. So as we continue this month in the readings, we are continue with the Fairy Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine because we are continuing to work with very elemental springtime energies. And in order to um, bring in another elemental, which is a higher degree of elemental, um, I thought we would bring in a blessing card from the Unicorn Cards by Diana Cooper. Um, so this week we start with our retrogrades, the 17th with uh, Mars going retrograde, the 18th Pluto goes into retrograde, and on the 22nd is the full moon in Scorpio. So there could be chances for some deep inner work to get started this week, or we could be uh, looking to finish up with the fiery energies of Aries. So let us see what our angels and guides have in mind and messages for Sagittarius. All right, so we have two of autumn and three of autumn. So here we see a progression already starting. Very grounded, very manifested. So two of pentacles says bring fun into everything you do. So that's very much a fairy energy. Um, they really want you to enjoy your life. And when you, you're doing that, when you're doing something that's really fun for you, um, take that energy and hold on to it. And and you can, you can just like soak it up and apply it to something that, an area of your life where you feel you need help. So you can use your own energies of joy to heal other aspects of your life. Um, it says uh, multiple priorities of jobs and exceptional talent for multitasking. So she's kind of flitting around and kind of juggling all of these orbs of light. So we, you know, we do do many things multidimensionally. So this may be an aspect of self that is coming through right now. So you can ask your multidimensional aspects to actually help you and to come in and give you guidance. And here with the three of autumn, as we progress towards the middle of the week, it says, follow your passion. So once you decide of all these things that you have going for you, right, and decide which one you really want to focus on. What is your priority? Where do you want to put that love and energy and uh, priority and commitment to? And it says, be the best at what you do. Be compensated for your creative talents. So really choose something where you shine, where you feel you are at your creative best. So I asked my angels and guides to give us the follow the last message for the day of the week. Wow. Okay. There's too many here. Ah. They just all kind of fell out. So they all want to come out at the same time. So give me just one message. Oh. And we get the Princess of Summer. It's funny, it's just we just had that in another reading for another sign. And I mentioned in that reading that where this is the card that she uses on the, the front of the cover of the deck. And so when we do that, and of course on the path, and when we do that, when we pull these cards, you know, this, this means that it had a special meaning for the author, for the illustrator, to be able to use this card um, as a source of inspiration. So here the Princess of Summer is the Princess of Cups. So it is about being generous of spirit, of being loving, of nurturing. Um, it says a new relationship or emotional experience. So when we are going for something that is our passion and we're, we're really feeling that emotional connection to what it is that we're doing whether it's a relationship with partnering up with someone in a business or just our own inner creativity. Um, it is about allowing yourself to feel the emotions of how that joy feels. And here we have uh, what is the undercurrent or the shadow side as we go into the full moon in Scorpio. We have the seven of spring and it's telling you to be assertive. Don't back back down from what you believe and stand up for yourself. So here, look, we've got that full moon. So this is definitely the full moon work that you're doing. This is the shadow work that you're doing. You're really working on being courageous and standing your ground and being uh, being assertive, really telling people, this is my truth. This is what I want to do. This is what makes me happy. And this is what I'm deciding. This is my decision based on my own um my own inner wisdom and my own intuition. And I think that will help you to be in action and to be set your boundaries and really set your, um, 
your decisions. And here we have how appropriate the choices card. So you're going to, this says there is another way, ask your unicorns to help you find it. So if, if you're going to tell me, oh, I've tried doing that before, it didn't work out, then Look, ask your unicorns to come in and help you see it in a different manner. How, how, what is another way that you can approach the issue? How can you approach to promoting your project or marketing yourself or expanding? What can you do in order to, to move it forward? Ask them to give you guidance and, and listen for that guidance from your unicorns because they're right here. They're right behind you. As you see, it's right behind you, and she's showing you this new archway, this new door. One door may have shut, but the other door has already opened, and they're guiding you to that open door. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's really It really is about us doing our own work, okay? Um, and, and to do the shadow work as well. It, it's a balance. It's a balance that we're looking for to achieving uh, this harmony of peace in our life. So if you feel that you need some extra guidance, please feel free to go to my website, Akashic Inspirations, so that you can maybe sign up for your own personalized reading for the Akashics or Tarot or Oracle, whichever you prefer. Um, if you have any questions on the readings, please let me know. And I look forward to um, for, for sh another sharing that we have on Facebook live stream, which is at 7.30 p.m. on uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and we talk about the energies, we talk about channeled, uh, we allow, I allow channel messages to come through, and we do do some free readings as well. So I hope that you'll be able to join me for that. I look forward to sharing with you on a daily basis on my Facebook readings. I thank you very much, and I appreciate your time in watching these videos, and liking, and subscribing, and sharing, so that these these messages to can reach a wider and vaster audience and hopefully help more people and that's why i do these readings so i send you many blessings for this week sagittarius keep yourself firm and do what you love namaste